Well, it's official. iOS 12 is now available to download. Hey, how's it going? I'm Josh from 91Tech, and I've been using the beta for about a month now. And today, we're going to see whether or not it's worth it for you to take the plunge and update your device to iOS 12. <laughs> iOS 12 is a pretty unique iteration of iOS in that it doesn't really bring a whole lot of new features, but instead focuses on performance and consistency, something iOS has desperately needed for a while now. iOS 11 was known for being riddled with bugs and issues, while iOS 12 works to change that, as well as speed up your device as a whole, and I'm happy to say that it actually does this very well, and is probably the best we've seen from Apple in a good few years. iOS 12 feels fluid, and it's optimized to get the most out of your iPhone or iPad, even if it's starting to get old. So let's quickly start with what iOS 12 exactly supports. If you have an iPhone 5S or newer, an iPad Air or newer, or the sixth generation iPod Touch, and congratulations, you will be able to install the update. And what's neat is that Apple has really been trying to speed up these old devices, so phones like the 5S and the 6 may even feel faster on iOS 12 than they did on 11, which is very impressive. iOS 12 feels great and in my opinion doesn't feel like the buggy mess Apple's iOS versions usually are at the initial launch. Usually I recommend people to wait a month or two before updating for the big bugs and kinks to be worked out, but in this case I'm not really sure that's necessary. I do still think you should wait at least a month because it is just a good idea, but if you really want some of these new features I do not see the harm in updating. And that's high praise coming from me because I usually recommend people don't update. And that's the TLDR of this video. iOS 12 is very good and fast and I would recommend updating. So if that's all you were looking for then there you go, but if you are wanting to hear some of the new features you're going to be getting with iOS 12 then you can stick around. I've already mentioned that this isn't a huge update when it comes to features but there are a few neat things on the way. The first thing and the best thing is grouped notifications. It's really simple. Have you ever pulled out your phone and noticed that uh, a certain app is just blowing up your lock screen for no reason? Well with iOS 12 that is no longer the case as it'll shrink it all down into the top notification notification and then you can touch it to show all the other ones as well. This is great, I'm very excited to finally have this, it's about time. We now have Siri shortcuts, with this you can set command phrases for Siri to carry out a number of tasks. Personally I don't see this as terribly useful, but if it sounds appealing then there's that. Screen time is a new thing in iOS that gives a detailed report on how much time is spent on your device. Not only that, but you can even set limits on each app and the phone as a whole, as well as monitor from other devices what that phone is doing. This will be a great tool for parents, and let me just say I'm pretty glad this wasn't a thing when I was younger. Group FaceTime is on its way, where you'll be able to FaceTime with up to 32 people. By the way, if you actually have 32 people to FaceTime with, congratulations, you've done well in life. Unfortunately, Apple actually pulled this feature from the beta, but they are planning on releasing it later this fall. We now have more Animojis for the iPhone 10 and better, as well as Memojis, which are Animojis that you can design to look like yourself or however you want. They're silly little things, but nice to have. We're getting a better app switcher for the iPhone 10. You no longer need to hold on to an app to close it, but instead can just swipe it up. On iPads, you can now use the iPhone 10 gestures, meaning you can just swipe up to go home, and so on and so forth. This is really cool, and likely hints at an iPad without a home button coming pretty soon. We now have something called the Measure app, which uses augmented reality to measure objects in real life. It's surprisingly accurate and a very cool feature. Speaking of augmented reality, we are seeing a ton of improvements in that department as usual, although I will not go into it because it's just a lot of stuff. We're seeing a fair few redesigns for apps that still don't have that iOS 11 aesthetic to them, such as the stocks, voice memos, and Apple Books apps. We now have something called Do Not Disturb at Bedtime, which hides your notifications during set periods of time, ideally at night. This is actually pretty useful. And last but not least, there's some new search features for the Photos app. Obviously, there is quite a bit more to this update, but those are some of the highlights. I don't want to bore you all forever on just listing things, so. Battery performance, by the way, seems fine. I haven't noticed any difference or any dips from iOS 11, although I haven't seen any improvements either that I can speak of, so take that as you will. Overall, iOS 12 just improves things without breaking anything like iOS 11 did, and that's really what we want from any update ever, honestly. The big things for me is grouped notifications and better performance. That's kind of what iOS 12 is 
was all about. iOS 12 is kind of a big deal because it shows that Apple is finally doing something to fix the problems that have been plaguing their users for a very long time. I really think that they've finally got this right, and so again, I would recommend updating. It's never a bad idea to wait, you know, a month or so, but if you're wanting some of those new features, then I would say go for it. And that's about all I've got for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If this was at all helpful, maybe hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content just like this. You can follow me over on Twitter and Instagram, links below. And with that all being said, I'm Josh from 91 Tech, and I will see you all next time.